business and education use the computer, but art is finding a place for it as well. The ability of computers to get creative has come a long way. While there's little chance of them usurping artists anytime soon, what does this change mean in the long term for those working in the creative industries? And is the future of these industries destined to be more imitation? To be or not to be, that is the question. Or innovation? I think the exciting role that AI will play is kicking us out of behaving like machines and perhaps being more creative as humans again. These portraits might look like paintings from centuries gone by or digital art created by human hands, but they're not. Each one has been imagined and created by an artificial intelligence. It's the brainchild of Mario Klingerman. He's leading a group of artists who are pioneering the use of AI in the world of visual arts. As an artist, you are always in this interplay between accident and control. So at one side, you want to have control over your work, but at the same time, you also want interesting accidents to happen. Using AI allows me to find a good balance between the two. This artwork is created using neural networks, computer programs that mimic the structure of the human brain. Mario has trained the system on thousands of portraits from the 17th to 19th centuries. The AI learns from them and creates a never-ending stream of unique portraits. In the past decade, the use of AI has expanded into numerous creative fields and its role is continuing to grow. Marcus de Sotoy is a professor of mathematics at the University of Oxford. I think a lot of people think that all that AI could possibly do is to produce more of the same, to produce pastiche. And I think that's really missing an opportunity because this AI is really beginning to push the boundaries, change things, uh, disrupt things. And so I think we're really seeing something very special happening at this moment. Before they take over the world, many experts say they will take over your job. Technological disruption is often assumed to lead to job losses. But such anxieties are frequently overblown. Research into the impact of automation in England shows a relatively low risk of job losses in several professions, including artists. For those working in creative fields, AI is more likely to emerge as a collaborator than a competitor. I think it's going to change jobs, and that's the point. So this is a new collaborator, a new tool, a bit like the arrival of the camera on the scene. That really changed art. Um, so I think there'll be art that will be just the same as it ever was, but there'll be new jobs out there. Some jobs will go. But for example, I think there'll be something like the data curator, the person who curates the data that the AI will learn on, will be a very creative role in the whole process. By working as an ever more sophisticated collaborator, AI could also help to overturn another stereotype, that machines can never be as creative as humans. I think as creatives, we can often end up kind of repeating behaviors that have worked in the past, actually behaving more like a machine than a human. So I think one of the exciting roles that AI will play is kicking us out of that rather mechanistic way of thinking and perhaps making us more creative as humans again. But alongside its potential to broaden the creative palette, AI could also have some negative consequences for the creative industries. In the world of music, AI has resulted in new tracks mimicking artists in every conceivable genre. It's where you are, there's music. Take the world famous jazz singer Ella Fitzgerald. AI technology is advanced enough to learn from her back catalogue to produce this. I sound silly. 
An original track in the same style. It's unlikely to become a new jazz standard. But it does highlight the potential the technology holds to copy artists on an industrial scale. Concerns about the long-term impact of AI are shared by musicians like Holly Herndon, who composes by collaborating with one. She calls it Spawn. She's my AI baby. We've been teaching her how to sing, how to make music with us. Holly's worried that there are no intellectual property laws or other regulations in place to protect artists from AI-powered imitations. Just from this conversation that we've had today, you would have enough audio material to be able to make a model of my speaking voice and kind of do whatever you want with it. We simply cannot have this wholesale taking of each other's work. And so I think we have to move past some of our 20th century uh, logics around IP um, and the way that we dealt with that and, and come up with a new framework for that for the 21st century. This legal gray area was exposed last April. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it's his now blame the mind to suffer the slings and their rules of a tree just fucked you. When the rapper Jay-Z reportedly tried and failed to have this track taken down from YouTube. And by sleep to say we in the herd and kin that does the natural shocks that flesh. It used AI to make him appear to rap lines of Shakespeare. I like how innocent it sounds. <laughs> But Holly has a more optimistic vision for the future of AI in the creative arts. One characterized less by imitation and more by originality. So by layering this, we were able to kind of get the, the AI singing with the kind of real world singing and instrumentation to kind of meld together and occupy the same space. AI's capacity to help humans make new kinds of art seems likely to have the most impact on the creative industries and the livelihoods of those working in them in the years ahead. But what then? How far does AI's potential to disrupt human creativity stretch? I think there will come a moment when we have to regard the AI as a sort of independent entity that is being creative. And maybe that's when it has its own internal world, when it perhaps AI becomes conscious in its own right, which I believe will happen at some point. There is a, an interaction that AI can have with the art of the past, which is at a speed that we could never achieve. So I think there is some possibility for AI to, to reach a, a state of uh, creativity much faster than we did as humans. Hello, I'm Tom Standage, Deputy Editor at The Economist. If you'd like to read more about AI and creativity, then click on the link opposite. And if you'd like to watch more of our Now and Next series, then click on the other link. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe.